Gwen Stefani fans freak out over new Harajuku mini collection announcement. Pop star and fashion icon Gwen Stefani announced today that she will be releasing a Harajuku mini collection, exclusively with Target. The four in the morning hitmaker explains in her caption that the collection will be in honor of Target's 20th anniversary. The collection is expected to be a kids only range, hence the mini in the name. In the photo shared to her 8.9 million Instagram followers, she is posing next to a young child, where they are both wearing the clothing line. Stefani is rocking a black bow in her hair, killer heels, and a mini skirt while holding the kid's hand with one hand and a backpack in the other. She states the collection will drop next month on September 14. The announcement has proven to be popular with her fans, as they have given the post over 131,000 likes within seven hours and expressed their excitement in the comments section. I'm gonna buy everything for my future daughter, one user wrote. Time for another baby, another insisted. Buying everything for my future niece, a third mentioned. The Wind It Up entertainer also received a similar reaction on Twitter, where she also announced the line. So excited. Every little human in my family is gonna be decked out in hashtag Harajuku Mini, a fan tweeted. This is bananas. Target themselves tweeted, referring to the lyrics in her iconic single, Holla Bat Girl. All right. I need to have a talk with the hubs. Sweetie. What are your thoughts on reversing your vasectomy? Oh. Gwen is just bringing back her kids collection. Hashtag Googling vasectomy reversal, a hilarious user shared to Twitter. Gwen's career has been heavily influenced by Japanese culture. Not only in the world of fashion, but also music. Her huge first two studio albums, Love, Angel, Music, Baby, and The Sweet Escape, paid homage to the Harajuku culture with her lyrics, dress sense, and music videos. While still rocking the world of fashion, she is also currently performing in Las Vegas, as she has her own residency, Just a Girl, which is a hit with fans. Recently, the Inquisitor reported her audience expressing that they can't get enough of the show and that they demand they need to see it again. Stefani rose to fame when she was the lead singer of the hugely successful 90s band, no doubt. Their punk, ska sound separated them from the rest and became one of the biggest bands from that era. According to RIAA, their 1995 breakthrough album, Tragic Kingdom, has been certified diamond after sales of 10 million in the US alone, an achievement which is hard to accomplish. In total, no Doubt released six studio albums, No Doubt, The Beacon Street Collection, Tragic Kingdom, Return of Saturn, Rocksteady, and Push and Shove. When No Doubt took a break, Gwen embarked on a solo career in 2004. In total, she has released four studio albums, Love, Angel, Music, Baby, The Sweet Escape, This Is What The Truth Feels Like, and You Make It Feel Like Christmas.